Melissa, I can't, I can't say her name today. Melissa Etheridge released her brand new album, Four Street Feeling, just a few months ago, and now she's winding down a national tour. Earlier in Atlanta, Kendra G joined up with the rock goddess on her second to last stop. Let's check it out. On Melissa Etheridge tour bus, looking fabulous right now. Look at you, you look great. I feel good. I feel very good. Thank you. Welcome. You, I mean, I would feel good too if I had a house on wheels that just yeah. goes with me wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, the, the traveling can be hard. So when you have a tour bus that you know you take your your band with and you have all your stuff on it and you got your food and your everything you need, then it is. It's it's pretty amazing. I went through your microwave and I was like, she doesn't make popcorn because it's it's just too clean. <laughs> It's true. We, I don't. I actually don't even use the microwave. Oh yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I'm a big like you know natural food sort of person. We don't even use the microwave. Oh uh -uh. my goodness. See, I knew it. I said it's too clean because when I use the microwave, it's so messy. I want to talk about the album Four Street Feeling. I've been listening to it this week, and I can't sing, but I do have a favorite, and mine's is falling up now. What is your song? Yeah, I like. Okay, I'm falling up now. I'm gonna stop right there. I can do that. I can't do anymore. That's great. I like that. I appreciate that very much. I like. Uh, I love all the songs on this album because I mean I'm not just saying that to, to you know take it out, but I, I wrote these songs to perform live right and so that's what i'm doing you know out on tour and that's what these songs are for so i enjoy doing four street feeling i enjoy shout now it's it's just live is is where these songs live this is your 12th album correct yeah and it seems like it's so still new you could tell you still love what you do how do you keep that love alive well it has to do with the people if you i show up you know we're in atlanta tonight i show up and there they are, and even before I start singing, they, they are expecting to have a good time. And how can I not go, okay, let's have a good time. Let's do that. It's, it's such a pleasure. I, I love it. And you play the guitar on every single song on this album, correct? Yeah. Yes, I do. I, I play all the guitars. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I think it's amazing. You know, you truly are a legend in this industry. You know, two Grammys, an Oscar, the kind of career that people can just, you know, dream about one day. Seriously. And I, I'm not just saying that because you're like, but, you know, it's just completely, completely amazing. So I always ask artists this. When you perform, do you ever forget any of your song lyrics at times? <laughs> <laughs> totally, because I I don't want to be the artist that has the uh, teleprompter yeah. I, I, that takes the the liveness out of it for me, <laughs> and and my fans know every single word to every song, so it has happened, you know, a few times that that I will forget a lyric and have to look at somebody and they'll tell me or right, right. or it it makes for a nice live moment. I am fine with whatever happens naturally on stage and forgetting things and making mistakes will happen technical things will happen they don't happen a lot with me but when they do it's part of the show and it makes for a unique experience but i think it's awesome because like you said your fans know the words so they can save you all the time yeah. <laughs> yes they can <laughs> all the time yes yes i want to talk to you about on um, last week election week a couple of things happened that i want to get your opinion on first things first let's talk about tammy baldwin the first yeah. um openly gay um politician elected to the u.s senate how do you feel about that i think that's great i'm i look for i can see a day coming where we we don't make the distinction anymore where we say oh that's the first gay one or that's the first you know, where it's just we we understand our diversity and and how different we all are and we're all mixed up trying to do this uh thing together move our nation and our, our world forward i agree with you i totally agree with you amendment 64 i know you are uh, i see i seen a psa for it yeah. and um colorado pass it yeah, it's interesting what's happening with uh, cannabis nowadays. Uh, it started, well, it actually started in, in the 70s. Okay. It, well, ever since they, we could go back to the 30s when they actually, you know, the prohibition right. started. And it has been, there has been a culture all over the world and in our country that has chosen cannabis as for many different things. It's, it's, it's. Uh, it goes back into a Native American culture for a long time, for health, for spirit, for, I, in my opinion, it is something that reasonable grown-ups can make a choice on how they want to relax in the evening, you know, that, that, that we don't have to choose just alcohol. So I think our country is starting to warm up to this idea. They kind of know that it's not a lot of the scary things that we've been, uh, you know, forced to believe before. 
Yes, we're talking about marijuana too. For those who don't know it, as canna know cannabis. <laughs> yes. I say cannabis because marijuana is kind of a slang word. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I've tried before, but I can't get past the burning feeling in the throat. You know, it's not. It's not for everyone. Yeah, it's, it, not. it's not. It's not. And there are like alcohol. I can't. I, the burning thing in the throat doesn't right. do it for me in alcohol, so there you go. See, we gotta have a choice for each their own. Exactly, isn't it? I love that. Right okay, gotta talk about um, same-sex marriage being passed in Maryland and Maine. Yeah. Now, it kind of goes along with the U.S. Senate, and I do think we are making strides. Were you excited to hear about that noise as well, that news as well? <laughs> that noise and that news, yes, <laughs> I was I right? was excited. It's, we are, can't, you, you can feel us all moving in this direction. You can't, you can't put this back in the box. We're never gonna go back. All these things that are our diversity, our, our, our beautiful f fabric of what we are in America. I think it's great. I love it. I love you. I love you. Such good energy. You know, I got to just say thank you to all the people who saw you. It was a 2005, one of my most favorite Melissa Etheridge moments when you were at the Grammys and you came out there with so much power and so much inspiration. And for all those people that were inspired by that performance, thank you. And keep being a bad mama jamma. That's my job. Thank you very much. I <laughs> yes. appreciate it. Four Street Feeling in stores now. Go get it and figure out what song is going to be your favorite. The one and only Melissa Etheridge. Nice. She is a bad mama jamma. We'll be back with an exclusive performance with Melissa Etheridge later on in the show. 